Okay, so we've just added our container class. There's the opening tag, here's the closing tag. And that's going to make our website responsive. At least anything inside the container will be responsive and part of the 12 column grid system. Okay, and you wanna make sure again that you are using this version of Bootstrap to get the effects that I'm getting just so that you can learn and make sure. And you can change this later and kind of read their new documentation as they update into version four and five. But you wanna be using this version for this tutorial just so you can learn how to use Bootstrap. Okay, and then from here, I'm gonna also add another Bootstrap feature. It's called the Jumbotron. So if I go to div and then say class equals Jumbotron, it's a funny name, and then I open that div up. Okay, so these are all nested on the same level. This is one level deep from the body, but this is on the same level as this entire structure here. And I'll space this out just so you can see everything a little bit more clearly. Okay, so in here we can kind of put like our maybe home page call out or whatever you want to put there. So I'm just going to put an H1 in here and I'm just going to say welcome to our custom site. And I'll save that. I'll just make all of these capital. So I'll save that. And now if we go over to our home page and refresh, make sure your server is running over here. If I go over here and I refresh, there we've got this big kind of banner section here, almost like a big call out for our landing page. And it looks pretty ugly. We can kind of fix it up. One thing we could do is we could utilize the container again inside of the Jumbotron. And remember, so Jumbotron came from the bootstrap uh, features. You just kind of, the way the site works, if you haven't picked it up yet, you basically kind of go through and see what kind of features you want. Let's say you want certain buttons. You would look here and see the examples that produce this kind of look, and then you just kind of copy this code over, and then you can modify it later in your CSS. And we're going to do all of that going forward, but I just want to show you how to use their website. You look at these examples, and then you just kind of see the result. For example, if I were to grab this example here, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to copy that. It should produce the same kind of blue button on our site. So if I go over and I just put it right under this div container and then save it, go over here and refresh. There you go. I got that same button just like that. And remember, this would actually require quite a bit of code to do from scratch. If I inspect it and then take a look, you can see there's quite a bit of CSS going on to make that happen. So we get all of that for free by utilizing a library like Bootstrap. So I'm going to remove that, leave it the way it was. And so if we go back here and add this container class now, so div class equals container, and we wrap it like this. So now our text is inside of that and we save it we'll get this effect it's now lined up with our kind of uh, responsive grid system and also there's a cool tool here if I open up the inspector and I click this little cell phone button you can kind of see what it would look like on a smaller sort of device and you can kind of pick what kind of device here's the iPhone 6 so this is the default look on an iPhone 6. There's a Galaxy S5, looks pretty similar. So there's a cool feature there in the inspector. The inspector does evolve, so if that button changes over time, don't worry, I'm sure you'll be able to find it eventually. So that's a, this is a pretty good look. And just to show you an alternative look, we could swap these out. We could say, okay, let's make the container wrap the Jumbotron. So let's take a look at that. So I'm going to cut that and put it in here, and then grab that and put it in here. So now the container div is wrapping the Jumbotron div. And again, if you're new to HTML, divs are just division tags. They're these invisible kind of boxes, uh, and we can apply color through CSS. You're getting that gray background through CSS. So let's refresh this. So we flipped it around, and now we get this kind of look. 
But I'm going to go back to the kind of wide look over there. So let's just kind of undo that and leave it like this. And you should do the same just so that we have consistency for this tutorial. Okay, cool. So now we have a Jumbotron added to our site. 